Hey everybody, Norm over here, and uh, as you can see by all these boxes and all these really nice new guitars, we just signed up to be a dealer again with Gibson after about 15 to 20 years. It's been a long time, but I think Gibson is really uh, coming to the party. They're really listening to what um, people are telling them and trying to come up with the best guitars for the money. Now, these are not the custom shop. These are just your standard American USA Gibsons, SGs, Junior, Special actually, um, other Les Pauls, Flying V, there's a TV Special over there. Um, these are really affordable, nice guitars. And there's a lot of people that can't afford, you know, some of the vintage stuff. And this is a nice alternative. We really have been working with them to try to get certain details great and kind of pick out what we really like, what we think are the good values. And I think these guitars are a great value for the money. They actually reduce the price on some of these things. And I think they're affordable and they're really nice stage guitar, usable guitar, and, um, just a good value and we're really proud to be a Gibson dealer again after so many years. And I'm going to show you something else in just a minute. Oh, well. yeah. I'm not driving back, but... <laughs> <laughs> you got to come back <laughs> so these are some of the new Epiphones and these are terrific value. You know, they play great, they sound great, uh, they're made overseas so they're a lot less money but I really think that whoever buys these is going to get great value is Pelham Blue SG Special, um, standards with a Maestro, a uh, couple of uh, Les Paul standards and a couple of Les Paul Juniors. These are really affordable guitars that I think anybody can afford and they're really great workhorses. So I think they're a good value to whoever buys them and that's why we want to deal with uh, Gibson and Epiphone again and we're going to do some Gibson custom shop stuff, stuff that's branded to Norm's Rare Guitars. So we really want to do a good job for you guys. We want to show you all ends of the spectrum where there's affordable stuff that's actually good value. These things are really nice and they're not expensive. So Epiphone and we showed you the Gibson before. Thank you. So um, we are now a Gibson dealer for the first time in about 15 to 20 years. It's been a long time, but I'm really kind of fond of what they're doing. Um, they really are coming around and listening to people and getting ideas from them. This is the 68 J45 reissue in factory black with a white guard, the Gibson logo. Now the real ones from the late 60s have a very narrow nut and then they get wider. This is more like, almost like a 50s neck. It's kind of a big round neck, really nice playing guitar, really come to the party. They're really doing a beautiful job on this stuff. I'm proud to be a dealer for them again. And uh, the guitar behind it is a brand new J185. And what the 185 is, it was the predecessor to the Everly Brothers. It's a maple guitar, rosewood bridge, rosewood board, uh, flame maple sides and back, mahogany neck. Just a great guitar. It's like a smaller version of a J200. Just really beautiful. Uh, I'm really happy that they're coming around and trying to make some really good stuff and I'm proud to be part of it. So this guitar is a 1929 Gibson model LO. It's all mahogany. Uh, one of the entry level flat tops that they made, very early flat top without an arch top. Um, just a really great example. As you can see, it says the Gibson up on top. Uh, a lot of their early models said the Gibson. And uh, Rosewood Board, Rosewood Bridge, really nice sounding and playing guitar, featherweight. Just one of the cool guitars that they made back in the day. 1929 LO.